Hello everyone. So I was visiting my mom recently and just reading through all of her old diaries which she had written on the circumnavigation my parents made between 1991 and 1998. And um, the old ink is like really fading where and I was just afraid that everything would get lost. So I've been typing everything into the computer and translating it at the same time because she wrote it in like English, Dutch, German. Um, and it's been really fun to to just read about my life as a baby and um, read how my parents traveled the world. So I actually, um, yeah, it's so much fun reading this and putting it into the computer that I thought I'll just read out a little piece of it to you guys. So while uh, listening to this, remember, these are written by my mom, and uh, she was in the big sailing fin. So, um, here we go. We start in 1995. How time flies! I can barely believe that we sailed away from Holland in August 1991, and now it is already 1995. In the meantime, a lot happened. In 1994, we flew to Holland in Germany to find work and fill our empty treasure chest. When we came back to New Zealand, Diario, our boat, didn't look very good. The forward pulpit was completely bent and broken, and the rest of the sea wheel was hanging in pieces from the boat. The wood at the entrance of the wheelhouse had been rotting away, the batteries were empty, the water pump was going crazy, and lots of other things had broken and things just kept coming up as we continued on throughout the boat. While we had been in Germany, a big storm had been wrecking through Fangerei. Our boat had been standing ashore and another yacht had fallen over with a mast crashing into the bow of Diario, destroying the rail, the forward pulpit and some of the construction. So it was clear what we were going to pump all of our freshly earned money into. Oh, and something else happened. I became pregnant. We had been trying for three years and actually kind of given up. But very soon, we will have an extra crew member on board of the Ario. Ron has been very busy preparing the boat and repairing our boat inside for the baby, making a big new bed in the stern of the boat so the baby can sleep in the front. Every day was very hard work for him, and the boat was always full of stuff and tools. My belly is getting rounder and bigger, and then finally, on the 20th of September, 1995, our daughter, Laura, was born. It was only two days after Ron had finished everything on the boat, and he was just packing up the paintbrushes. There was no time for him to rest. And because of all the damage on the boat, we had spent all of the money we had saved for when Laura was born. 1996, the 25th of May. The 30th of May was getting closer fast. The day we were planning to leave our comfortable spot in the Marina of Fangrai after two years. There was not a lot of money in our pockets, since now Ron was the only one able to work and I was looking after Laura. Sometimes I was able to do some clown shows, but we weren't really able to live from that. I was restless and a bit nervous, only five days until we would sail off to Fiji. Would everything go well, also with Laura? We were busy with stocking up our cabinets for the next months. Lots of friends saying goodbye and having farewell parties and dinners. By the 29th, we had cleared out as customs. The boat lay five centimeters deeper in the water, and Laura's bed was packed full all around with diapers and wood for Ron. Later that day, another surprise awaited us. A friend came over and asked us if she could sail with us to Fiji. As if the boat wasn't full enough yet. Where were we were supposed to put her and all of her stuff? We didn't really like the idea much, but we said yes anyway, since we were pretty much the last boat to leave Fangarai for the islands in the season of 1996. So, I hope you um, enjoy that, and um, if you like it, let me know in the comments, maybe I'll post another one.